And so what do you say to these people who, who say, you know, pull yourself up by your bootstrap and go get a job? There's jobs out there. What do there you say? There are $8 an hour jobs. And you know what? A lot of people have said, you know, when our grandfathers came, right. and yeah, yeah, I know when my grandfather came, he worked in a foundry for minimum wage. And yeah, he worked 70, 80 hours a week. And that minimum wage put a roof over his family's head, put food on their table. Not in today's and world. And educated mm -hmm. their family. Mm -hmm. Today, you cannot put a roof over your head for double that. Mm -hmm. So if you have intact families, both working full-time jobs, you're still not going to do it. If you have intact families with one person working two jobs and another working one job, you can pay the rent and buy some of your food, but not pay the utilities, pay for clothing. Live. You know, people who are immigrants with papers, forget without papers, with papers, can, you, you can't live on what people are able to make. We are the most blessed nation on earth. Our children are educated. People say, go get an education. Not so easy. Go get a job. Not so easy. If you don't have child care and you don't have a car and you can only get a job that's on a bus route with the skills that you have and you can't afford a babysitter and you leave your children at home so that you can work, your children can be taken away from you for neglect. Mm -hmm. Would you risk it? You know, and if you're working 80 hours a week and at the end of that week, at the end of that month, you're going to be evicted anyway, don't you start to live in a low-grade depression and you wonder, like, why? What am I doing this for? I'm not getting anywhere. Our work preparation program, obviously, in, in, in order to be able to get a job, they have to have papers. Right. So people who are in our work preparation program absolutely have papers. We will turn no one away from food ever. Ever. Um, number one, we're a ministry. And God never said, Jesus never said, feed the worthy hungry. You know, Matthew 25 doesn't say, feed the worthy hungry, give drink to the worthy thirsty, shelter the worthy homeless. Mm -hmm. He says, do it. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think it says that that's going to be the final judgment for all of us. So um, we have the final exam. We know what the question is. We want to be able to answer it right. So we will feed anybody, not only, not only for that reason, but because it's a service to our community. I believe that there's less violence, that there's less stealing, that there's less armed robbery in the city because nobody has to listen to their children cry from pangs of hunger every day and every night. And I think that as a parent, I wonder how long I would live with that before I would do whatever I had to do mm. to feed my children. So we will never turn anyone away from food, ever. As long as there's a room open in our shelter and mm. there's a bed available, we will not turn people that are drug and alcohol free while they're with us in our shelter. We will never turn them away. <laughs>